If you're thinking about making one of the rooms in your house a theater room, or maybe you just want to add a much bigger screen somewhere else in your house, but maybe make it not so permanent, don't do what I did and build your own screen. I'll tell you why in just a minute, but if I had to do it all over again, I would get one of these instead. This is the VividStorm ALR screen. It's electric and it raises from the floor up. Now VividStorm does recommend that you have a projector that can produce 2200 ANSI lumens or better to use with this screen. It's got a 0.8 gain. It's compatible with 4K and 8K resolutions. It's got a 150 degree field of view and it's got silent operation. If you're not familiar with ALR screens, that stands for ambient light rejection. Basically what it does is it rejects most of the light that's coming into your room, whether it be from lights on the wall or coming from a window. It allows you to see the picture on the screen much better than a regular projection screen. So if you're in a room that can't be totally dark, an ALR screen is definitely the way to go. And I do want to thank VividStorm for sending this out to me so I could do this review for you guys today. And if you guys want to pick one up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. VividStorm has a wide range of different projector screens, so no matter what projector you have, they've got you covered. So like I mentioned before, I've built a couple of projector screens myself and it's quite labor intensive. Not to mention you do have to put holes in your wall and it's fixed, you can't move it around. This projector screen by far is the easiest and quickest to set up. It was probably about seven and a half minutes by myself to totally unbox this projector screen until it was up and ready for me to use with my projector. You also get a black IR remote control that you can use by pointing at the screen. And it comes with this little holder that you can mount anywhere you want. We get a USB dongle that you can use with your projector to automatically raise the screen. You also get a white RF remote control that you can pretty much use anywhere within the vicinity of the screen. You don't need to point at anything. The Vivid Storm was super simple to set up. You pretty much just set it wherever you need to, plug it into a wall outlet, raise the screen, and you're all set. Now the main base on the bottom here is pretty heavy, but you might be able to move it yourself, but I would recommend at least two people to move it around. Another issue I ran into building my own screen was the fact that I got these wrinkles in this one corner, and I didn't realize it until I was done building it, and by that time it was really too late. If we look at the Vivid Storm, you can see that the screen is perfectly taut. There are no wrinkles anywhere on the screen, so it gives you a perfect picture every time. So now let me show you the difference between this ALR screen and the screen that I built and why it's so much better. So we're in my basement right now. I've got all the lights on. The screen in the background is the screen that I built myself with some regular vinyl off Amazon. And then the front, we've got the Vivid Storm ALR screen. So if we take a look at these two screens here, you can see the screen in the background. It's much more washed out, especially in darker scenes. It's really hard to see what's going on on the screen. Whereas the Vivid Storm, you can see so much better. It's got a much better contrast ratio and it's also brighter. So like I mentioned before, if you're gonna be using a projector in a, in a room where you can't turn all the lights off, or you have light coming in, you're definitely gonna want the Vivid Storm ALR screen. Now the ALR screen is not only good in brightly lit rooms, but it also helps in a dark room as well to give you a much better contrast ratio. Let me show you. Now I don't know if you guys can tell from looking at the screen here, but in real life, the darker portions of the screen are much darker than they are on the white screen in the back. If I look at the white screen in the back, I can see like a white haze in the background, whereas the Vivid Storm, it's totally black on the black portion of the bottom screen. So not only does it shine in a brightly lit room, but it also gives you a better contrast ratio in a totally dark environment as well. And if you don't need the projector screen to extend all the way up, you can easily set it to only go to a certain height. And if we look at the side here, we can see we have our illuminated power switch. We also have a manual up and down and stop control in case something happens to the remote. And we have our IR sensor right here, which you can pretty much put wherever you need. And if you wanna set the height for the projector screen, all you need to do is remove this little rubber cap here, use the little tool that came with it, and you can easily adjust the height just like that. 
And if you're curious about what's going on behind the scenes, it's got these really sturdy metal rods that come up behind the screen and the screen simply just rolls up into itself when it lowers. Another really cool feature about this projector screen is the fact that you can get this optional USB dongle that you plug into your projector so when the projector turns on, it automatically raises the screen. So here we are upstairs in my living room and as you can see, there's a lot of light coming in. I've got a lot of windows. I can control some of the light, but it's not convenient to totally try to black out this room. And that's where the ALR screen comes in. So I'm gonna show you two different situations. I'm gonna show you one where there is no light control and two where I put the sun shades down to try to control the light as much as I can. So here I have the Vivid Storm sitting on my floor. It really doesn't take up a lot of room. And like I mentioned before, you can easily move it around with two people. Me and my wife uh, fairly easily brought it up the stairs without any issues. And as you can see, I have a 65 inch screen up on my wall here and the Vivid Storm sits perfectly in front of it. So when you wanna watch movies, you can just simply raise it up when you wanna watch the movie and then put it back down if you want to use your other TV. So again, we're watching this video in a full light situation. It's got a lot of really good dark places as well as some light. And I wanna show you what the difference is between the ALR and a regular white screen. So here, as you can see, there's a lot more detail on this picture. The darks are fairly dark, but if I put up a white screen, you can see how washed out it gets and all the detail that you lose over here in the lighter portion of the screen. Now, if I move it over to the darker, you can see that there's a lot more contrast on the LR screen versus just a regular old white screen. It's really washed out in the darker areas. And even with all the light that is coming into this room, you can still very easily see what's on the screen. And then here we have a video that's a bit more colorful than the, than the last. And you can still see if I hold up a white cardboard, how much more washed out the screen gets versus the rest of the ALR screen. And yet, even though with all the light, you can still easily see what's on the screen. Now I'm gonna roll down my sun shades to try to control the light as much as I can, but there's still gonna be plenty of light coming into the room and we'll see what the difference is in that situation. So I'm sure that you can see a difference in the picture already just by putting down the sun shades. Even though the room still has a lot of light coming in, you can now very clearly see what's on the screen without any glare whatsoever. So if you're gonna be using any type of projector in a room where you can't totally control how much light comes in, I would highly recommend getting the Vivid Storm ALR screen because it's gonna help you out tremendously with picture quality versus a regular white screen or even just your wall. Another perfect use for the Vivid Storm is if you like to entertain, have people over for game nights, Super Bowl, you can easily pull out the Vivid Storm, put it where you need, and now you have a big screen for the big game. So this has easily become my favorite projector screen. You saw what I was using, and if you're using a regular white screen or even your wall for your projector, you are definitely missing out. Not only does the ALR screen benefit you in a brighter environment, but it also helps you in a darker environment as well, giving you a really nice contrast ratio. So you get those darker darks while still maintaining a really nice picture, and you don't get that white washout like I was getting on the white background. I also love the fact that it literally took me minutes to set up, and if you need it in a different spot around your house, you can easily move it around with at least two people. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so you can easily put it behind your entertainment center to hide it if you want to. It easily rolls up into itself, and it's got a very quiet operation. You really don't know what you're missing out on until you actually experience it for yourself, but I'm telling you, once you get an ALR screen, you'll never go back. So again, if you guys wanna pick this up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it'd really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.